Can we tell a story, Real Sky Bree, that you told me in the car ride oh, down what to the Illinois Empire? What story? I have a lot of stories. It involved like a photographer and four Jewish guys. Oh, oh why so, do you know yeah, that story? The gangbang. Yeah. Mm. The gangbang. Okay, so basically, does. I um, worked with this photographer and we hit it off. By the end of the photo shoot, I was sucking his dick. Mm-hmm. He invited in his roommate, Perks. sucked his dick they were too. Cousins. Perks wow. of the photographer. And they were cousins. Numbers. Yeah, so I really liked them. And a few weeks later, um, my first day moving to LA, actually, they hit me up and they were like, we're having a spa night. Mm-hmm. And I can't pass up a fucking spa night. Yeah. Whatever that means. And <laughs> whatever that Leo, means. Leo, you have a hot tub right? at your apartment what? complex. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a nice, there's a nice hot tub oh, at great, the, your great, apartment great. complex. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I go over and it's just... Um, like four or five dudes chilling in a hot tub and there's a girl there. So I'm like, okay, I feel like a little comfortable. Mm -hmm. We're hanging out for a little bit. We're taking shots. The girl leaves and then it's go time. Like they Mm -hmm. all just start coming on to me at once. Mm. I'm loving every second of it. Mm. And um, are they even attractive? Yeah, they are pretty attractive. Yeah. I'd say like three out of the four were attractive. But the fourth one, he was the strangler. The like he was the guy that was just like kind of there, like yeah, to get some free pussy. Yeah, mm. um, anyways, sort of like this guy in this room. Yeah, mm, Dino. Yeah. yeah, just like fingers crossed, like mm-hmm. coming to get some. He's wearing you're wearing a striped shirt to the real Sky Bree Rah Rah <laughs> podcast, dude. Unreal, unreal. <laughs> um, but dope. yeah, then they all pull out condoms, which mm. that makes me think they kind of. It was like premeditated Like they knew That this was like Gonna go down Oh my god And I got fucked In a hot tub By mm-hmm. four dudes mm. Mm. All cousins You think spa night Might have not as been As innocent as they Build it to be I mean it was still A spa night I felt really relaxed nice. Afterwards That's good Yeah. Do you Run. think you were Able to take bigger cocks Because you were relaxed In the spa Yeah I think I was like Loosened up a little bit nice. The hot tub had me going Like how? the jets You know mm-hmm. Sometimes I put my pussy On them and Do you yeah. really Yeah, yeah. You I put, feel like every girl A does lot of girls that. I've heard yeah. that yeah. Dude I got an embarrassing story You put your cock In one of those jets I wish your That butt? was the story <laughs> Haven't we Yeah all? I, let, I let <laughs> So I was in Santa Barbara For my sister's Basketball camp In fifth grade <laughs> And me and this kid Chris Fabian Were like Fucking around with the jets Like letting them Hit our balls and shit And I wanted to one up Chris Fabian because he was like, dude, I got my fucking boner like pressed up against this. I was like, fuck you, dude. I'll let it go up my ass. <laughs> dude, th- I-, I let the jet go right up my ass and it obliterated. This is what I think was happening. Oh, no, no. There was, I think, I think I had like, I think I had to take a shit. <laughs> oh, and there was dude. like a poop blocked and loaded. Mm. I think the jet just vaporized the poop. Yeah. Oh, because God. I had liquid diarrhea for two days after the jet yeah. incident. No. I had to... Yeah. In the show Robin Big, the classic on MTV, they called a man pawn. I had to make a man pawn. I had to wrap toilet paper up, make it into like a torpedo shape and put it up my ass. No way. Yeah, that, dude. That, that sounds like it was a medical thing. You should have gone to the doctor, I think. <laughs> there might be something ruptured still to this day. Uh, yeah. And then Chris Fabian told my dad I did that, and that was the worst part. So my dad thought I was like gay. Dude, I think all dads at some point are worried that their son is gay, you know? Well, not your dad. Because well, you I, were, one time. I mean, you had the hottest girlfriends since like freshman year on. <laughs> Well, in middle school one time, I was looking at a calendar of some jacked dudes because I was I wanted to be jacked. Why were you looking at that? Well, you know, my dad was wondering the same thing, Danny yeah. boy, and he thought I might be gay. Okay. And he had a talk with me that night, and he very, you know, machismo, Latin, Italian talk, like, you can't be a maggot around here. If you're a maggot, you got to leave our family. That was, okay. He was rhyming. Is maggot Maggot, you know, word for, for yeah. Okay. Your dad said We that? try to not say it on the podcast anymore. That's but very surprising. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that kind of goes against the Danny Mullen brand. Wow. Really oh, say, we, we recently what stopped saying that. What podcast am I on? All right. Should somebody rip one, dude, just to prove that we're men? I don't maggot. like she thinks. There we go, dude. Oh, I feel like we need to have one minority in the room whenever we let a slur yeah. go. You're sort of brown, so I guess it works. I like that you, right. you know about the brand, though. We yeah, do try. Yeah, we try, we try to be pretty wild. 